okay good day all good day all as you can see this is technical drawing part 3 which is the practical drawing and it carries 100 marks this is yx2021 and i'm moving straight to the section b of this exam which is building drawing or mechanical drawing and i'm doing the question 4 of section b this section b right here so i'm doing question 4 this is question 4 and which is the building drawing so under this building drawing for this video we're we'll dealing with the building plan how to draw your floor plan yeah so the first thing you are supposed to do is you are supposed to go straight away to your specifications so what are your specifications your specifications are in the next page yes these are your drawing specifications specifications now all dimensions are given in millimeters so in every of your work exam you always giving your dimensions in millimeters a millimeter is this unit this is a millimeter a millimeter is one tenth of a centimeter from three to four is a centimeter right then that one this one space here between this one and this one this one space is called a millimeter that's what a millimeter is let me see yes yes so this is a millimeter from year to year from year to year is what is called a millimeter so i just widen the um screen to let you see exactly what i'm saying so now let's move back to the question now you should i advise you read the specifications before drawing very important always in always, always endeavor to at least read the specifications so the foundation is 750 times 250 concrete strip at a depth of 900 meter sorry 900 below the ground level so this 900 is automatically in millimeter so everything you are drawing here will be in millimeter so this 900 here is also in millimeter but you have to adjust the length according to the scale so this foundation we will not be needing this foundation for the wall for the um, floor plan which will be drawn today so the, but, but the wall will be needing to the wall which is 225 so I will circle the ones we need. So the ones I circle are the, are, the, are the ones you will need for your floor plan, which we are dealing with today. Now for your floor, 350 part core, 150, 25, floor to sling, 3,100, dining, 150 higher than the rest of the floor. You don't need this floor. The door, you need this door. You need this to draw the door of the floor plan. Then windows, you will need the windows too. So these ones I circle are the, are the specifications you will need to draw. And then your lintel, you will not need your lintel. Your lintel will only show in your um, elevation and section drawing. So your lintel will not show you. So the next one is your roof. Yes, roof. No, no, no. We will not need the roof. Then your beams. In your beams will not really show. Yes, your beam can show, but your beam will only show the um, um, the um, plan view of the beam. So it will, be, it, will, it, it will be in dots. Your beam will be in dots when you show, when you show your beam. But it's not really needed here, so I won't, I won't add that. So now the question is question A draw to a scale of 1 to 100 the floor plan, the front elevation. Then B draw to a scale of 1 to 150, sorry, a scale of 1 to 50, a detailed section along plane YY. Assume suitable dimensions were unspecified. So for this, question we're dealing with the floor plan only there are three parts you draw the floor plan the front elevation and a detailed section along whatever plane they give you for this question now they, they give us plane yy now this is the plane we are given plane yy so in another in another video i'll be addressing this um this um section drawing but today we are dealing with floor plan now for your floor plan the first thing you do for your floor plan is to assume the overall dimensions of your house this building that you see here, right here, has an overall dimension. So what is the overall length of the building? The building overall length is 17,000. 17,000 from here. So whatever you, you, are, you see on here, you are going to divide by your scale, which is 100. Now, this is, this is what we are giving here. For your floor plan, you are drawing 1 to 100, right? 1 to 100. So whatever you are giving in your drawing, you are going to divide it by this 100 you see here. So that means this one that we have 17,000 right here. We divide it by 100. 17,000 divided by 100, that's 170. 
So, and they said our unit is in millimeters, right? So, this is 170 millimeters. So, there are two things you should do whenever you see any dimensions. The first thing you should do is divide by 100, and the second thing you should do is add millimeter at the back. So, this this 17,000, I divide by 100, take away the two zero, that's 170. Then you add millimeter, mm. So, this is 170 mm. So, that's what I'll be drawing now, the first one. So, and because these are parallel sides, this is parallel to here, so I, I, I will draw 170 mm. If you add this one, you will get 170 mm. That's 5 plus, that's 13,000, 2,500. That's um, 15,500 plus 1,500. That's 17,000. So it's still the same length. So because of that, I'll be drawing 17,000 here, and then I'll be projecting it up. Then the same thing here, I will draw, this one here is 12,000. I'll divide by, by 100, that's 120. So what I'll be using is 120, 